Hey guys, what's up? It's Friday here on Transtastic, and our topic for this week is inclusive media slash orange is the new black. I feel like there are some questions that need to be addressed within this topic, and the first one is what does inclusive even mean? What is the definition? So I typed in the Google search bar, define inclusive, and this is what it told me. Inclusive, including many things, including many things or everything within particular limits, including the numbers, dates, or other series members mentioned immediately before, including people of all kinds, ding, 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 not excluding any group or section of society, ding, ding, ding. The next question I feel needs to be addressed is, is there inclusiveness in the media? And in my opinion, yes, <laughs> definitely not accurate representation all the time. There's representation, which is a start. It is the start. Definitely not a bad start, you know, just getting the word transgender out there is always a good start. Next question is, do I think it's good to have inclusiveness or inclusivity? whichever one's the correct word. Yes, I think it's extraordinarily important to be inclusive in the media, in your life, in every aspect of the world. I think it's very important to be inclusive or at least considerate of all the different kinds of people that are out there. Inclusiveness, yeah! As I said earlier, we have it in the media and it may not be the best, but I still think it's really important that it's there. Do I know any shows slash movies with inclusiveness, mainly on trans people? And obviously this is where Orange is the New Black comes in. I've seen every season, so two seasons. I whoo, did a Netflix marathon on them, watched them all like in one day. I, I think it's a great show and I think Laverne Cox does a really good job. I mean like not only is she a trans woman, but she is a person of color and one thing that I really loved about this is that she's a trans woman in a female jail or prison. Us trans people are just like, of course, she should be in a female prison. She's female. Within like the laws and government, that doesn't always happen. In fact, most of the time it doesn't happen. Like she worked with this trans woman, Cece McDonald, who was, who is a trans woman who was in a male designated prison and I'm pretty sure that's more typical to happen to trans women to get if they do go to jail to be sent to a male prison even though they should go to a female prison and in the show Laverne Cox plays a trans woman which is also great she's a trans woman playing a trans woman which is whew, mind blowing and she's in a female designated prison and I really love that they did that and I'm pretty sure this is based off a true story, so the fact that it actually did happen in real life somewhat makes me happy as well. So I'm very happy for Laverne Cox. I don't know all the activism she does. I'm not an obsessed follower or de devout follower of her. And there are other shows that have trans inclusive characters. And the first character that was trans on a TV show that I came across was in The L Word and the character Max Sweeney, played by Daniela C. She's female and presents as female, but like when I research her, she's just like, I'm more like gender fluid or whatever. I'm pretty sure she's gay. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know her, so I can't really ask her. And I only did like a minute worth of research on her. She played the trans male character Max Sweeney on The L Word and when I first came across him I was like 15 and I thought this was great like this is the first time I came across a trans character it opened the horizons for me and I didn't see him as a bad character although like as I got older other people were saying they didn't like Max Sweeney and that he was a poor representation of trans men and they didn't do a good job with him and I recently rewatched The L Word like all the seasons and I agree now, I, I I see it. I'm just like, as it was a good start, like it, oh, it literally, that was the opening door for me. But now as I'm older and like six years have passed since I've like watched that, I see the flaws and sort of the negativity and negative connotations that were put on Max Sweeney 
And then obviously we have Degrassi with Adam, and I kind of watched that on and off, and I agree with Chase that, you know, with a cis woman playing a trans male, like, you can't go very far with that character. I understand why they removed the character from the show, killed him off, like they do with every character, gosh. And then I read an article, like, a year ago that they're trying to, some, some playwright or whatever is trying to make a show called Z trans male living in Texas coming out to his family and they're all super unaccepting and he realizes he's the only functional one in a dysfunctional family. I, there are many more shows and movies with trans characters in it but most of them are played by cisgender people. I know many people who are just like trans characters should be played by trans people. And I agree with that to a certain extent, but like acting, it's it's not, I don't know how to explain this without sounding like a dick. While I think it's important trans people should play trans people, it's not a bad thing if cisgender people play trans people, but I think it's important if a cis person's going to play a trans person that they meet with the trans person, they interact with them. People who play characters with Alzheimer's usually go to like homes that have people with Alzheimer's. And they like study them and learn their tendencies and they talk with doctors. I do think it's important for trans people to play trans people, but I don't think we should hate so much on cis people playing trans people. I think the only way to properly portray a trans person is to immerse yourself within the trans community if you're cis. There are not many trans actors out there, at least not out trans actors. And the ones that are generally play trans characters, which is not a bad thing, but the trans characters sometimes maybe prostitutes or dead or going to be dead very soon. Characters that don't go very far in the plot and writers or people who write scripts or shows or movies or whatever they need to create more trans characters that like are normal, they're average people, they have a day job, they have a partner of some sort, they may have kids. We need more of that kind of representation that we're really, really average people. Those are my thoughts and opinions and ideas about inclusive media slash Orange is the New Black. And I will see you all next week. Bye.